Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a business email with Google Workspace. Setting up a business email is a great way to establish a professional presence. And with this guide, you'll be able to set up a business email in no time at all. So let's get started. In the description below, there is a link that we're providing to Google Workspace. It is an affiliate link, so that does give us a small commission if you sign up for this service. And I think the main question here is, why would you wanna sign up for a service like Google Workspace where it's a paid for service? Well, if you're venturing online with your business or just starting a business up and you need a business email address, Google Workspace is a fantastic option because it's not only the professional business email address that you're gonna get, you're also going to get a lot more for the money that you're spending. So if you follow that link in the description, you'll be brought to this page right here. And this is the sign up page for Google Workspace. And as you can see, it gives you a little bit of information there about tools and services that they provide. And right here, you can see what Workspace includes. So you get the Gmail account, you also get Drive, you get Google Meets with video calls, etc. So it's a really, really powerful suite of services and a great option if you're starting your business online. So as I said, Google Workspace is a paid for service and they do give you a range of options depending on the needs of your business. So the one that I'm going to go through in this video is the business starter package. So once you've chosen the option that suits you, you can click the get started button and that will take you to the next step. So on this page right here, I'm just going to enter the business name that I want associated with my Google Workspace account. And then below that, you get to choose the number of employees in your business. And just a quick note here, any of these options that you choose, so if you choose just you, because it's just you signing up, or whether that you have two to nine employees, any of these options will then determine how much you are charged per month by Google. So what we recommend is just signing up for just you and then adding in the accounts as and when you need them, rather than picking a number right now. I'm just gonna click on just you, choose your region and then click next. Then all you need to do is fill in your contact information, then click next. So this page right here is asking you whether you have a domain name already set up for your business. So if you do, then you click the yes, and that will take you through to verify that you actually own that domain name. And that's the process we're gonna go through in this video. But if you don't have a domain name, then you can click no, I need one. And then Google Workspace will take you through purchasing a domain name that suits your business. There is additional costs to that as well. So if you follow that process, just be aware there is an additional cost for the domain name as well on top of the Google Workspace monthly cost. So I'm just gonna click, yes, I have one I can use. Then all you need to do, type the domain name in here. So then it's just asking you to confirm that is the domain name of the account you want setting up. So all you need to do is click next and opt out of this one. And this is gonna be the business email address that you're setting up for yourself. So choose something that you will be using for your business email address. Uh, choose a password, then click the recapture, and then click agree and continue. And then once you've done that, all you need to do is enter your password and log in to your Google Workspace account. Then you may need to verify your account, so you can go ahead and do that. And once you're through the verification process, you'll then see this screen. So you just need to agree to Google's terms and conditions. Just gonna click on I understand. And then it's gonna ask you to review your payment plan. So you just review that and then click next. And then just go through the checkout process for paying for your account. And then once you've been through all that, you'll now see this screen which to let you know that your Google Workspace account has been created. All you need to do then is click on the continue to set up button. And now we need to sign in to continue to our admin console. So we just need to put our email address in that we've just set up. And then once you've done that, hit the next button right down here. That's then gonna ask you for your password. So enter your password and continue. So now we've logged into the admin console of our Google Workspace account. We get this little welcome message and all you need to do is click next right here. And here Google Workspace will take you through a process to get your workspace set up correctly. So as you can see, this setup process is broken up into three parts. So part one is to protect your site by verifying your domain with Google Workspace. Then if you click next, part two is to create other Google Workspace accounts if you need them. And then after that, you can activate Gmail for your domain name and your business. 
So as we said, the first step is verifying our domain name. So to do that, all we need to do is click the little blue protect link right there. And this message right here is just talking us through how to verify our domain name. So all we need to do is press, I'm ready to protect my domain. So now Google Workspace is gonna take us through the process of verifying the domain. And the first thing it's asking us to do is to open up Bluehost and manage some of our DNS settings. So this is gonna verify our domain name through DNS records. To do that, we're gonna to head to Bluehost. We're gonna to go to manage and then DNS. I'm gonna to head to the hosting dashboard in Bluehost. So now I'm on the Bluehost hosting dashboard. Just need to head to domains here and click on my domains. And then under this domain right here, I'm just gonna click on manage. And now we're managing this domain right here. We can see there's a DNS tab right there. I'm just gonna click on that. And now that shows us our DNS manager. So we can head back to the page in Google Workspace. As it says here, go to step two to add the verification record. So we're just gonna click next to go to step two. So all we need to do right here is add a text record with the following code in the text value and make sure that we have the settings set up as well. So we're just gonna to go to our Bluehost portal. On our DNS manager right here, we just wanna scroll to the text records. So here we can see our text records. I'm gonna add a record in here. So our host record right here is at. Text value right here, we just go back to Google Workspace. We copy that right there. So that's copied that to clipboard. And we're gonna add it into our text value right here back in our hosting dashboard. And our TTL right here, if we go back to Google Workspace, we can see four hours is what it says right there. So we're just gonna change that on our hosting dashboard to four hours and then click on save. So that's updated that record right there. So if we go back to Google Workspace, we can now, uh, final step right here is to click on protect domain. And this may take a couple of minutes, so I'm gonna jump ahead once this is verified. So now we've done our first step and we've verified our domain name for our Google Workspace. We're going to skip step two because we don't have any other users that we're going to add to this workspace. We're going to go ahead and go to step three, which is to activate Gmail for our domain name and our email address. So all we need to do is click the activate button right here. And then we just get this little pop up just saying that before we begin, are all the existing email addresses added to our Google workspace? So after you've had given that a read and you're ready to move forward, just click I'm ready to activate Gmail. And just like how we verified our domain name, we're gonna now add some more records to our DNS records to help Google Workspace manage our emails for the domain name for our business. So again, there are a couple of steps here we need to take. One is to open up our DNS manager in Bluehost. So you can follow this link right here, or I've already got the DNS manager open from when we verified our domain with Google Workspace. So I'm just gonna open that. So now we're on this section right here. We wanna scroll down to our MX records. And if we look at Google Workspace, we can go to step two. And then in this second step right here, what it's asking us to do is to copy and paste each one of these records and add it to our domain MX records. So if we head back over to Bluehost, we can see right here we've, we've got a MX record that points to mail dot, the domain name that we chose. We're just gonna remove that. So we're gonna click this button right here, then just click remove, just confirm that. And then to add in MX records, we're just gonna click the add record. And if we scroll down a little bit, now we can add in our first MX record. So we're just gonna go back to Google Workspace. So what we're gonna do for each one of these is add in the priority, the host record, and the points two. So priority is one, the host record is at, and then we're just gonna click that and it copies to the clipboard. So then let's add our first MX record in Bluehost. So we've got a priority of one, we've got a host record at points two, we'll just paste that in here, we'll add the TTL as four. Then just click save to add that MX record. And now we can go ahead and add in all of the other MX records. So we're just gonna do that. Now we've added all those in, we're gonna head back to 
Google Workspace. Then it says, after adding these five rows, we're gonna come back and activate Gmail. So click this. And then this is gonna take a little bit of time to validate the records we've just added to our domain. And you might find that you'll get an error message like this when you're validating these record changes. And that means that you might need to give your hosting provider a bit of time for these records to update on their side before you retry activation on the Google Workspace side. Also, it does give you a couple of pointers that there are some records need to be deleted on your hosting provider's side. So you could do that as well and then wait a little bit and then retry the activation again. So now we can see that our MX records are fully updated and that's been confirmed by our Google Workspace account. We can click the finish button right here. And now we can see that step has now got a blue tick next to it. We're not gonna add any users at this point, so we're gonna skip this for now. And now we get a confirmation message to let us know that we're all set up to use our Google Workspace. And one of the things that we can do is send a test email. So if we do that. And if we sign into Gmail, we can see right here is our test email that we sent to test that everything is working with our new email address. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let us know in the comments below. We read all the comments as well. So if you've got any questions, drop one down there as well and we'll try and help you out. If you wanna see more videos like this, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.